So, Jordan, we're here today. We're talking about some Hall of Fame voting. Um, obviously, Scott Rowland was the only person that was inducted this year. Um, I think you and I can both agree. Sixth year on the ballot, 69.9 .9 career war player. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks to me. <laughs> totally deserving. A uh, couple guys that were close. Uh, Todd Heldon, 72% of the vote. I think we can both agree that he deserves to get in. He'll probably get in next year. A um, couple guys that you and I agree were snubbed from voting and should have gone in. Who are you thinking on that list deserved to get in? Yeah, so as we know, baseball is a numbers game. So, I mean, I'm going to look at the numbers and say who's most deserving statistically. And mine is Billy Wagner. Okay. Career reliever for the Houston Astros. One of the best relievers in baseball history. He was... Had a career ERA plus of 187. He was 87% better than league average for his entire career. Over 400, sa over 400 saves, seven-time All-Star. Career ERA of below three with 2.31. I mean, if you look at the numbers, everything says he should be a Hall of Famer. And I think the only reason he's getting stubbed right now is because he's a reliever. Mm -hmm. But when you look at like Trevor Hoffman and Mariano Rivera, two guys that are Hall of Famers that are also relievers, the precedent is there for him to get in. And so that's why I believe he's such a big snub currently. Certainly. I think you look at Billy Wags and you're like, he was the absolute best player to do what he did. And that was to be a left-handed pitcher. Yep. A left-handed relief pitcher. Um, I think that Mo and Trevor Hoffman, they have that 600 saves, which is really nice. And they're kind of the outliers and playing that long of a career. Um, and that definitely doesn't help out Wagner's case. Um, I think that you look at some of the best players to do what they did all time. I remember going to induct... Matt stares in the Hall of Fame because he's the best pitch hitter of all time. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe you, yeah. Exactly. You can but, make an argument. No, you I certainly mean. can. He's the best to ever do it. Um, I think that you look at Mariano Rivera, the greatest reliever of all time. His numbers aren't too far off. However, what Mariano Rivera has is the sustained, except for 1999, sustained <laughs> postseason dominance, and that for me is what's holding me back from saying, you know what, Billy Wagner, great career reliever. I want to see him closing out the final out of the World Series. I want to see him doing everything in his power in the postseason to just will his team to victory time and time again. And that, for me as a voter, is where I'm saying Moe's got it and Hoffman's got the 600 saves. Billy Wagner's got 422, but he doesn't have any postseason stats. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I'll give you that much. But at the same time, it's like there's only so much you can do as a reliever to get your team even into the postseason. Good point. And, yep. I mean, you can make the argument either way, oh, that could be a reason why relievers really shouldn't be in there. Yep. But when you're a relief pitcher who would have had even more career accolades if he wasn't pitching at the exact same time as Mariano sure. Rivera, Good like point. he only had one reliever of the year award, that's because Mariano Rivera took like the other 12 when they yeah. were pitching at yeah. the same time yeah. or something like that. So I think that's why you have to look like purely based on statistics. But... I'm going to let you talk about who yeah, you yeah. think you was, was yeah, yeah. your biggest snub for a um, while. So let's set the scene here. We're in a vacuum. Everything, mm -hmm. everything, stat, and faces are out the window, yep. players, everything. Let's say that the best defensive player at his position of all time also had 434 home runs. Would you say that that player should be a Hall of Famer? So, I, and this <laughs> that is. That player is Andrew yeah, Jones, yeah, by the yeah. way. That player is Andrew Jones. I, I would say this, and this is where it's kind of hard because I think Andrew Jones should be a Hall of Famer as well. But I think Billy Wagner should be a Hall of Famer over Andrew Jones. If you, okay. had to, if you had to pick between those two and only one of them could get in, I think Billy Wagner is more deserving. And so that's why I disagree with you. Hmm. Yes, in an ideal world, I think they should both be in. But as we saw this year on the ballot, we're not living in an ideal world because they both got let up, left off. But yeah. I'm, opening, I'm open to hearing a little more about why Andrew Jones sure. deserves to be in. So defensive runs saved, the stat we use nowadays to track yep. defensive prowess, was not tracked until 2003. So let's use total yeah. zone yep. runs average, uh, which measures how much above or below average a player was at making outs that the average player would not make. In his 14 seasons in center field, Andrew Jones tallied 230 total zone runs, an average of 16 runs average per season. His best year, 1999, Jones ended the year with 35 total zone ratings. So yeah, that's the ridiculous. absolute best defensive, cedar, defensive center fielder of all time, we're talking about a guy who was playing on the postseason every single year. Did he win the World Series? No, he was two years late. But he was in the postseason year after year. He's making big time hits. I mean, he started his career at age 19. I think that's a lot of things you may look at to say, well, after age 29, you know, Andrew Jones kind of fell off the map. Yep. I'm looking at him, I'm saying, at age 19, this guy was facing Mario Rivera in yeah. the World Series. <laughs> yeah. And he had two home runs in that 1999 World Series. This is a guy that was able to have a sustained offensive and defensive position at a position where his speed and his defense were so volatile where he was able to stay healthy for all that time I think that if I'm voting I'm voting for the guy 
who played a premium position. To me, relief pitcher is not a premium position in sports. Yeah. Andrew Jones was playing center field. It's, it's the shortstop and the center fielder, the captains of the team, the captains of the defense. He was the absolute best at it, and he was a great hitter too. As a voter, I'm picking that guy over the pitcher who can get cycled in and out, who may not face the left hand, or might not face the right-handed batter in a platoon situation. I'm taking Andrew Jones, playing every single day, doing all this stuff. I think he would get my vote over Billy Webbs. No, that's that's 100% true. I'll give you that. But like for me, I'm looking at kind of dominance at position. Well, Andrew Jones was great, and as you said, probably one of the best, if not the best, defensive center fielders of all time. He wasn't 87% better offensively than center fielders or even just batters in general throughout his career. Mm. Whereas as a pitcher, Billy Wagner was. That's why I love ERA Plus is because it accounts for relievers being able to show their dominance mm. against all pitchers. And Billy Wagner was just so much better than his competition for most of his career. And he had, you know, a FIP of 2.73, yeah. which was lower than Mariano Rivera's. And a whip that's also below Yeah, one. a whip a whip below one for his career. Point nine nine eight but, is below yeah, one. Yes. Point zero zero two points below Mariano Rivera's. So, you know, he, he got Cy Young voting twice in his career. He got MVP votes twice yeah. in his career as a yeah. reliever. That's just insane. So, The I, great thing about our guys is that, you know, Billy Wags, he's got two more years left on the ballot. Andrew Jones has four more years. So yep. hopefully... We see these ballots coming up in the future. These guys are going to hopefully find their way in. They've got both my votes. If we're, if we're going off of 